As an athlete in the sport aspect of our knees, the sparring formats I'm more accustomed to is point system sparring with a padded stick and 10 point must sparring with an actual stick. But another format of sparring that is also commonly used by practitioners is called real contact stick fighting. Also referred to sometimes as Dog Brothers style sparring as the group called the Dog Brothers were the ones who pioneered this type of sparring. Now real contact stick fighting is as it sounds. It's real contact stick fighting. The only parts of your body that are protected are parts that are a little bit too hard to recover from. In other words, your head, your groin, and your hands. There are no points to be earned and it's as close to a real stick fight as you can actually get. Combat isn't limited to strikes with a stick. You can also grapple, you can strike with your limbs, you can clinch, you can do submissions, you can do takedowns. And as I said, it's as close to a real stick fight as you can get, at least compared to the typical sport formats. So in this video, I'll be talking about the three main insights I gained from personally trying out this format. Real contact stick fighting. So the first thing I noticed was that I was a lot more cautious while I was sparring. Point system sparring taught me to time my strikes and avoid getting hit so that the opponent doesn't score a point. But what it doesn't necessarily teach is avoiding getting hit after you've landed your first shot. In point system sparring, there's no consequence to getting hit if you land your shot first. But in an actual stick fight, there is a real consequence to getting hit at any point in the game. I became more cautious of coming into my opponent's range, and I chose my strikes even more carefully. The second thing I realized is that grappling skills are very important. At the clinch, it's a lot more likely that fighters are going to grapple. Unlike in WECAF style tournaments where fighters barrage each other with strikes at the clinch because grappling is not actually allowed, grappling is a lot more likely to happen in this type of format. It's my grappling skills that I felt I needed to work on the most after this event. And lastly, practicing this is actually a lot of fun, at least for me. However, it's not the kind of fun you're going to be able to do every other day. Even at a higher intensity, you can get away with point sparring or WECAF style sparring really often. But the injuries sustained from real contact stick fighting can sometimes take a much longer time to recover compared to these sport sparring formats. If you're looking to expand your awareness on the dynamics of stick fighting, then I think this is a format that's definitely worth trying. If you can find a group or a partner that you trust, and if you're physically able to actually do an activity like this, then I think you learn a lot from it. See you in the next video, guys.